Uh, how do I get my tone? Well, that has to do with pretty much a lot of power. And I usually rest right over the pickups. Always when you see me playing on anything, I'm never in the back by the bridge. I'm never up by the neck. I'm always just sitting there right next to the pickup. Obviously, I get that from Steve Harris because it was a nice little, you just sit there and you got it going. But also, Billy Sheehan, uh, he always had that where he'd strum right over. And if you've seen any of his videos, he always had this thing where he had to glide over the pickup because it kind of gave a grace where you didn't have to fall through the, uh, the strings and you get, you get stuck on them. Um, and that was a big one for me, so I like that. And I hit very hard. I try not to hit just down. Like if you're just kind of like, if you slap it, I try to come up at an angle so you get more bass instead of just that, you know, raspy, clanky tone. I usually use heavy gauge strings because I like the feel of them. And again, I get that real, I don't know how you want to say it, but just like, you know, right off the strings, it comes back pretty hard. And I have a hard attack. So when I was hitting smaller strings, uh, it feels like the tone just wasn't giving me what I want out of it. It just was real small. And me being a big guy, I gotta have that big tone, you know? So as soon as I got the bigger strings, of course, Steve Harris is 110 all the way. He's always used them heavy gauge. So I thought that's what I had to do. And so I've been doing that pretty much my whole life um, until I got to the bass drum, I like went back to 105. And that's actually a pretty good happy medium to me because uh, I feel like I could steal uh, those elixirs that they use here. Um, you really get a really nice tone still, even if, no matter how hard you hit, even if you're going light or not. So the tone's always gonna be there.